I am so jelly right now. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Build DX Splash Driver. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the driver. We have Common Rider Cross Z Charge. Yes, I call him Cross Z. Get over it. And here we have Common Rider Grease. You have the Splash Jellies. On the side of the box, you have the driver. On the other side of the box, you have grease and cross the charge. On the bottom, grease, charge. On the top, wrench, jelly tank, splash jelly. People, stuff, things on the back of the box. We have your obligatory product shots. Does this, that, the other, all that cool stuff. And you have Sun Pac Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Splash Driver, the second belt of the series, and this is what Cross Z uses to upgrade into Cross Z Charge, and this is also the transformation device for Common Rider Grease. And um, yeah, it's it's an interesting belt. It's kind of weird, but hey, it's Common Rider. Of course, it's weird. <laughs> It's definitely interesting. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have a lot of nice transclearance goldish plastic going on here with some nice silver chrome here on the wrench and some nice silver chrome here on that device. You got some black tampograph details on there, some nice details throughout. So you have the tank here for the jelly gel. <laughs> yeah, so translator red right up here with the build logo. Of course, right here is where you will insert your splash jellies or your full bottles. And there's the bottom. Here's the back. You do get some detail back here. No paints, but you do get some detail back here. Uh, here's the battery compartment. It takes three AAA batteries. Your on-off switch is right here on the bottom, and the speaker is right up front. So, yeah, definitely Definitely interesting, and when you pull down on the wrench, this closes the vise right there. So that's how that works, and yeah, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the build driver. Just so you can see how they look side by side. So, there you go. And of course, this being a belt, it does include Belt parts, yay for a belt parts. And it's the same strap as the uh, as the Ghost Driver, complete with icon back piece. And it connects the way all of these belt straps connect. You just have the two buttons here, which depress those bags, and you just clip it in, and clip it in, and voila, there you have a belt. Of course, this is not really made to fit an adult waist. This is meant for children, but you can always buy these uh, DX belt extensions. I got these from uh, CS Toys, or you can use your preferred method of belt extension, you know, the shoelace, uh, you know, a Velcro strap, whatever. Some people mod these belts and actually put an actual belt on them. Hey, whatever your method is, go for it. So what do you use to power this particular driver? You don't use bottles, no, you use... These things, these are the Splash Jellies. So this is the Dragon Splash Jelly and the Robot Splash Jelly. And first we'll take a look at the Dragon Splash Jelly with the nice dragon symbol right up front there. You have the top there with the build logo. You can still twisty twisty and locky locky. And the back has the uh, tab rail system going on here. It does have Sun Pac-Man! Just permanently printed on it forever in shame. And you have a QR code. If you want to go ahead and scan it, go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. So yeah, there's the uh, the Dragon Splash Jelly. And they're, uh, they're squishy. They're squishy. I don't know what's in here. At first I thought maybe it was a block of foam, but this doesn't feel like foam. It maybe I don't know. Feels like something rubbery in here. I don't know what's in these things. I don't know, but I, I'm not gonna cut this thing open to find out because I that, that's a waste of money. So I'm not gonna do that. Maybe somebody will uh, have the guts to slice one of these open just to see what's in there, but I'm not that person because, no, I, that's okay. I don't enjoy throwing my money away like that, but there's something, something squishy in there, but yeah. So there you have the Dragon Splash Jelly, and here is the Robot Splash Jelly with the robot right there, and again, you can twisty twisty, locky locky, 
splash jelly goodness going on. And again, you have the QR code. Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. Bye. Yeah. So there you have the dragon and the robot splash jellies. And uh, just for a quick comparison, here it is next to a full bottle with the dragon full bottle. Just so you can see how they look together. And here is the robot splash jelly with the robot full bottle. So, got that going on. So, without further ado, let's get down to some noises, shall we? Let's. So, again, your on off switch is right under here. Turn it on, and you get. It tells you what it is in case you already forgot, and that voice is just, it's just creepy. It's a really creepy voice on this thing. But there you go. So let's get down to some henchening. So first we will use the Dragon Splash Jelly. So let's go. There you go, you're transformed into Cross Z Charge. And I particularly love the at the end, like that dude rolls his R's like a boss. But anyway. There you have that. Now, let's do our attack. And to do it, you just push down on the wrench again. There you have the scrap breaking. You see all the lights going off in there. This section does remind me of the mock driver, the Mahabraba. For some reason, this section just reminds me of that, but yeah. So there you have that, and that's all the noises that the Dragon Splash Jelly makes in here, so we will move on to the Robot Splash Jelly. Bra indeed, my friend. Bra. Anyway, so now you have transformed into Common Rider Grease, and now we'll do his attack. And there you have the scrap of finish. So, there you have that. Now, let's talk about full bottles. Now, if we bring in the Dragon full bottle and turn it around, you'll notice that it has the exact same tab combination as the Dragon Splash Jelly, which means you can use the Dragon full bottle in this and get the full transformation noise out of it, like so. So you can get the exact same transformation noise by using the Dragon Full Bottle. And the same with the Robot Full Bottle. Now, the Splash Jellies will not fit in the build driver because this thing gets in the way. The only way to actually have these fit in the build driver is if you remove this piece, if you undo these two screws back here and remove this. It's the only way you can have this actually fit in the build driver. But again, it will make the exact same noise as the bottle because it's the same combination there. So, there you go. 
Now you can also use builds full bottles. And one thing that's really cool is that the belt does distinguish between organic and inorganic bottles. So if we use an organic bottle like Revit's, we'll get. Okay, stand by noise. get the charge crash. Now, if we use an inorganic full bottle, like say tank, we get this. You get the discharge crash. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I believe that is pretty much it for the Sclash driver. It's different, it's interesting, it's weird, and that's why I like it. Got the weird squishy jellies. <laughs> Again, it's weird, but hey, it's Kamen Rider. What do you expect? Really, what do you expect? But Still, pretty cool concept. I don't know if we're going to be getting any more Splash Jellies. I don't know if it's just going to be these two or we're going to have other Splash Jellies to go into Driver. I'm not sure. I don't know if somebody probably already knows and will tell me in the comment section, but I haven't read anything about any other Splash Jellies myself. But I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this driver is pretty cool. I, I do quite dig it. I love the voice on it, too. I really dig the voice, too. It's creepy, but I dig the voice. But yeah, I like it, so. There you go. Now, I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this, if you are interested, such as Hobby Link to Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of the pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Kamen Rider items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out. There'll be a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out my Common Writer build playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Common Writer build DX Slash Driver, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face.